Good morning, dear friend. Welcome to my thought for the day. Today I'm looking at uh, Matthew 11, um, verses uh, 25 to uh, 30. But my focus over the last few days has actually been to, to think in my own meditations about how frequently Jesus extended an invitation to people. He was always inviting people to know him better, inviting people to follow him. We know he called the fishermen, simply saying, follow me, come follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. He stopped by a tax collector's booth and he said to Matthew, come, follow me. He said to Zacchaeus, come down, I'm coming to your house for tea. He was extending an invitation to a despised man to become different. By inviting Jesus to his house, his life changed forever. He met a young, a young man came to him, a ruler, described as a rich young ruler. He's a rich man, well-to-do, very. God, Jesus doesn't despise the rich or the poor. He doesn't only invite the poor, he invites the rich. It doesn't matter your station in life, this young man came said, what can I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus answered him and then said to him, he, he, said, he said in the end, I've done all these things, what else is there to do? He knew he hadn't arrived. And Jesus pinpointed the, the love of his life, which was his wealth. And he couldn't give it up, not even for Jesus. But the invitation was there. Maybe he went away and thought about it. I hope he did. Changed his mind and came back. We don't know. But in this passage, Jesus says, verse 28, chapter 11, Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Wow. Pass your burdens onto Jesus. Let him carry them. Why carry them? when Jesus can carry them for you. Why carry the worries and cares of the world? Whatever your worry or care, bring it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Come to him. The invitation is come to me, all you who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said just before that, as he prayed to the Father, he said, all things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Father chooses to reveal him. And immediately after that he says, come to me. So the heart of Jesus is that everyone, that he would choose everyone if he could, to find the Father through the Son. That's the way to find out what God is like, is to look at Jesus. And Jesus invites us to come with our burdens, with our heavy weights, with our labours, all you who labour and are heavy laden. And what does he give us in place of it? We give him our burdens. He gives us rest, refreshment, peace, shalom, all, all the qualities that shalom covers Contentment, rest, joy, peace, trust, faithfulness, love. Then the next verse says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, Jesus is replacing the burden that we have let go of with a different yoke and I I was suddenly thinking this morning God has not brought us into rest so that we don't do anything so we just lie on our sunbed in the sun basking and we let someone else do everything no 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 Jesus says take my yoke upon you this is a picture of a working animal back in the days when two oxen would be yoked together with a wooden, uh, a hard, solid wooden uh, yoke over each neck with a, an exact, 
so the, the two animals could not move apart. If one moved one way, the other one would be pulled in the same direction. They work together. This is a work yoke. This is not, this is not sitting on the back of the workhorse and the workhorse doing everything in carrying you. No, this is a joint venture. This is a joint venture with Jesus. You and I are on a joint venture with Jesus. We are working together. Just like he is the vine and we are the branches, without him we can do nothing. He, he gives his yoke to us and he allows us to share his work, to walk with him and accompanying him and doing our part in the ploughing of the field that these two oxen are ploughing or the pulling of the cart that these two beasts of burden are pulling or the treadmill they go round yoked together linked forever with Jesus but is that hard work? No Jesus says put my yoke upon me and learn from me this is a picture of two animals together with the more experienced animal teaching the less experienced animal how to do things, where to walk, which way to go, how hard to pull, when to rest. The lead animal is Jesus and we go with him. We don't go with him with our feet off the ground carried. We walk with him. He has allowed us to share his work with him. Learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And I don't believe there's anything that God has called us to that will exhaust us. If God has called you to a task, and you do it yoked with Jesus, and you learn from him, you will never be exhausted. You will find rest, even when you're working alongside the lead the lead animal, the lead Jesus with his yoke upon us. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We're not meant to do nothing. We're meant to serve in the kingdom, yoked together with Jesus, taking from him the lead, learning from him. And how blessed we are to walk every day alongside our Lord and Saviour with his will upon us, as he, and abandoning our burdens, not worrying about our burdens at all, leave them. They're not worth carrying. Carry the burden that Jesus gives you, whatever that task is, because it will be suited to you and it will be easy for you as we keep our eyes on Jesus. My time is up. Bless you. Respond to the invitation of Jesus to come to him today. Bye-bye.